would shoot and kill a 16-year-old boy out riding his bicycle in his Miami neighborhood. It's a cold case. Police have been working since 2012. Tonight, there's a new appeal for help. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with the teen's stepmother, who's been grieving for more than six years. It was my son. You know, I, I, I love him, and um, he's a very big missing part in our life. Annabelle Herrera will never get over the loss of a child who she helped raise since he was four, her stepson, 16-year-old Brian Herrera. It's horrible. It's, it's ongoing. It's something you never get over and something that you constantly have to relive over and over in your head. And, and knowing that, that there's still no arrest doesn't make it any easier. Precious photos remind her of what happened around 11 in the morning, three days before Christmas in 2012. The teenager was riding his bicycle to a friend's house to work on a homework packet when he was shot and killed. Still six years later and we still look at pictures and we cannot believe that this is that this happened. It happened at Northwest 11th Avenue and 39th Street. He was a child, so what pains us is that somebody took his life. Loved ones initially passed out flyers and were joined by school superintendent Alberto Carvalho. Annabelle Herrera says Brian was a straight-A student at Miami Jackson Senior High School. He loved video games. He was very good at them, and um, he was hope hoping to get into um, Robotics. He had a great future ahead of him. He was going to be anything he wanted to be. Family members say Herrera had no enemies and no criminal history. He was doing nothing wrong, and someone shot him once and killed him instantly. Miami Police spokeswoman Officer Kenya Fayat says there is no description to release of a suspect. Initially, we thought it could have been a robbery, but at this point, everything's up in the air. Fayat says the motive is still not known. She says it's even possible Herrera was struck by a stray bullet. We have come up empty handed and at this point we want someone to call us with information. Somebody had to see something. He was only a boy. He was only 16. He wasn't a man. He was a kid and, and he, he deserved to, to live. He deserved to enjoy life and, and we, we, need, we need to get this person out there. She says she will never give up. I have hope and I will keep fighting every single day of my life until I get an arrest for Brian. Annabelle Herrera has even written letters to everyone in this neighborhood urging them to come forward if they have any information at all about this case. If you can help, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. There's a reward of up to $3,000. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News Tonight.